Welcome to today's episode. We start up the old FLD, take it over the shop to get a little bouncy bouncy off. Let's do that. Stick around, find out. Dad's got to go to work early morning. I love you, boys. Should be some more parts showing up today. I think the cam gets here today. The good old IROC. And it's a little bit windy today, so I'm going to give Mr. Uh, Ghost a break. There you go, buddy. That wind might keep messing with you. Had a great Halloween last night. It is 39 degrees right now, guys. Uh oh, he's coming down. He's going to come on the minivan. It's supposed to be a low of 33 today and a high of 54. So, whoo, got cold. Oh, that light's still on. Wow. But I had a great uh, Halloween. Check out a clip right here. Did you get candy, Mr. Oggy Woggy? Uh huh. Hello, Grim Reaper. Hello. Say thank you. Hey, you want to shake his hand? Say hi. Hello. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Woo, you see my breath. You guys can't really see it, but it's 40 degrees, it says, on the, on the dual minivan. So we're going to warm up both these girls. Let them get the temperature, get some air in that trailer, and do a pre-trip on the trailer after uh, that. So the leaks in that uh, system. But yeah, just head back and get another full one. I was going to do it last night, but just had fun playing with the boys. And uh, that Halloween was so much fun. So, yeah, had a great time. And to be young and search for candy and have that part all the way when you're older you just kind of take them around and enjoy the outfits. Never really checked the heat on the FLD. <laughs> Got the AC working but the heat does work and a defrost so that is a good thing. All right and the radio works intermittently. I guess we could replace that but that one speaker oh yeah. Okay she's warm. Let's get over to that one. A little chilly in here, but we're getting warmer. She's warmed up, so ooh, let's go winter. You're here. Coming across 85 at 5.45 in the morning. There we go. Kind of staggered it out because I don't want to be, I could have woke up at four and been at the dump probably at 6.30 with the open, but it's just a big line of people, so. I like showing up right after that. Uh, so hopefully we'll get there about 7.30 in the morning after we grab a full trailer up here. But what's that 85 looking like? It should be good this early in the morning. I don't know though, you never know with old 85. So looks like it's flowing. I can see the both directions. Uh, yeah, we're good. Oh, what? 8 a.m.'s coming up. Oh my goodness. And hopefully they finish that construction by the time I start running dry man again. I don't know when that's going to be. Hopefully this project gets us up and through Thanksgiving into coming into Christmas. And then, uh, but the spot market dies even more. And if it could, if it can die even more, I don't know. Yeah, 85 is running just fine. Uh, I don't know if it can die anymore, but the actual volumes fall traditionally um, after Christmas, like leading up to Christmas like the week before. And after Christmas all the way into January, the, vol the volumes always, for the last five years, have just dropped off. Not made loads at all. So hopefully we get another project or we'll do something else or see if our cement buddies have any extra runs for us there. I don't know. But we'll do something to just stay afloat. All the moon and all those stars. And I love the way she lights up with the red sucking in air for the turbo. Oh, she's pretty. Let's go. pre-trip and get going um some of the other, the other trucks that pull these trailers are a little lower than the uh fifth wheel than mine so i had to get some wood put underneath the um landing gear pick up the trailer with my truck uh, my, my uh, frame then put that under landing gear then read the landing gear got it done i just took a little time so the sun is coming up we're heading down for our first run we'll probably get two today because we're getting this late start we should already be almost at the dump um, tutor day and then come back and get one on our back we call it which we'll have one ready for the morning but yeah blessings what a beautiful morning got 
cloud in the sky and it is 38 degrees up here. Time for a little more fuel. We only put 105 gallons, 105 I think, gallons last time and that we're still got more than we did when we came in last time, but just want to not let it get low. I'm not going to go in that first pump because it's probably still got a bag on it. It does, I can see it. We'll go over here next to this flatbed. Um, but we'll just keep doing like 100 gallons and that got us almost six loads so this will be our sixth one since we fueled so that's cool cool that's not too much fuel for the uh for the work all right so this trailer has a little bit of an unbalanced or a flat spot on one of the tires a little hop at 65 kind of like the good old fld does so maybe i'm gonna turn my headlights off i didn't know they were still on um Maybe it's just tires. So we'll get some new tires in the FLD. We'll get those ordered today. I'll talk to a few different people, see what, who has the best price or what they got. And uh, we'll get some tires on the old FLD. It's a good looking purple peak. Purple people eater. Ah, for some reason, RTS cards don't work at the pump. You put it in there and it says see cashier every time. It's a good looking W9. Oh, that's ours. Got the old circle headlights. I like it. Oh, the newer style with the line in the middle. Oh, cool. It's cold out here, guys. I know it's not as cold as it is for you guys up there in the north, but for us, we've been sitting, what, it was 85 two days ago? So now we're uh, we're in the 40s right now. So whew, let's get this card, get the pump turned on, get to the dump. Okay, another 100 gallons. It's 101 gallons this time in that. Uh, I'll just fill up the driver tank because that's where my engine pulls from, and they even each other out anyway. So let's get going. Our purple Pete's out of here, and we're about to get out of here. Four more miles down the road, and that's the exit to the dump. One in line and one going up. We're very blessed. Got some slop down there. The water truck must have came through recently. My poor W9 is getting dirty, guys. Talk to my buddies. They're going to work on that um, hop for me. They're going to reseal my pumpkin. It's got a little link to it. Pull both axles out and reseal it. Uh, just go over everything, the bushings. See what we got to do to uh, get that thing stop hopping kind of like this trailer's hopping there's a guy dumping trash right in front of us i don't know how, he's gonna, how these guys get back out of there one, one guy got stuck last uh last week all right let's pull our tarp get ready to go <laughs> Woo, bless me the dozers are dozing and this poor guy is trying to get lined up uh with the lift taking him a couple times but he'll get it he'll get it all right, tarp's off. We're ready to rock. Flip this thing around if that guy's not pulling off that uh, other one right now. Let's see, I can't see him yet. It is cold out there, guys. 42 degrees. Cold for us. I know it's cold for other places, but yeah, he's still on there. Is he gonna start pulling off? I think he already went up. Uh, he's standing in front of the truck, so I'm just gonna flip it around. See what he's doing. Seem to always get lucky with his line. Like I don't know why, but I'm, I'm counting my blessings. Thanks, thanks to God that He uh, always keeps me coming in here. But I'm sure that'll eventually be changed. And once again, we're on the left side. We're on the uh, still have not used the lift on the other side. <laughs> All right, let's get back on this thing and get this thing in the air. Dump it out and get back. That was kind of weird. Uh, right when I got up to the terminal the up and down the control box uh was off the engine was off so i tried to crank it sorry my little magnet fell off the back of the phone <laughs> and the guy because i had to put new sticky ones on uh these ones i just transferred off my own case probably should have got new ones but i didn't have any anyways um it was off so the guy across the way was like hey uh don't keep cranking it you're gonna kill a battery i'm like i just tried it twice man uh, and then there's a sign there. It says turn all the way off and like reboot. There's a little computer screen. So okay, so we did that. And the guy came over that works here, and he put it in. The, and there's a idle up. There's a middle, and there's probably like a low idle. I don't know. But it's always in the middle. And so he said, make sure it's in the middle. Crank it, and it started right up. So then I uh, so okay, cool thanks, man. I got it. I understand from now on. And then I put it all the way up, and it didn't even go all the way up. It almost made it all the way up, and it shut off all by itself. And I'm like, all right. So I said we're pretty much. We're empty. It, it didn't even need to go all the way up, but it slides off. Anyway, so I said, okay. Um, let me get out of this guy's way. It's got a day cab uh, W990, the new body style. I don't really like those headlights. Um, 
But I told the guy, hey, man, it's starting off. So he said, we'll do the sequence again. I did the sequence again, but it wouldn't wouldn't start again. I'm like, so hopefully they can figure that out. Maybe it's low on fuel. Maybe, I don't know what's going on. But I was not happy. So we're going to get over here, go get our paperwork, do it again. Hopefully they get that fixed because they were working on the other one. They're working on the one on this side. And then mine uh, just shut off. So hopefully it's working again. <laughs> or I don't know what we're going to do if both the, uh, the lifts are down, but hopefully they're not. Let's go get our paperwork validated get out of here. Tell you what, that's a pretty clean looking FLD. Paperwork's done, let's roll. While we roll out of the seven speed bumps that we have to go over, uh, let's check out the load board and let's check about, talk about our giveaway. T-Dubs will tell us about our after, day after Thanksgiving 400 for, for Thanksgiving giveaway. Uh, be in the chat and have the five keywords. There are three keywords already out. They'll be dropped at random in all the videos leading up from what? We started about October 15th, all the way up until October 13th, all the way up until day after Thanksgiving. Here's T-Dubs, and then let's check out those loads. Guys, we are doing another giveaway. We're calling it 400 for Thanksgiving. This is gonna be sponsored by safetyauditprep.com. Be in our live on November 24th, the day after Thanksgiving, and look for those five keywords. Wednesday, the 1st of November. Let's check out Truck Smarter right there in the middle. Totally free app, 2,400 loads in my area for dry van, uh, which is the trailer that I own. Um, oh my goodness, $950 to change all the way up to Pennsylvania. Wow. Not looking great. Uh, down to Florida, 500 miles, 1,200. Those are the solar panel loads right there, the Wellborn. Those are back up. We ran those for 1750 and 1800 Oh, our cam just got delivered. If you're interested about that, check out 3BB, my son's channel. Maybe I'll do a little video soon about um, all the parts that showed up. Ah, but not looking great. Uh, $290 for a short run there. Yeah, not a not a great market. Tucson, $2,600 all the way out to Arizona with two stops. Come on. So uh, we're just getting a little bit higher in the deadhead now. Uh, Fifteen hundred to Fort Lauderdale. Wow. Still some of the same guys. Not a great spot market at all. So we will stick to our contract here, but continue to check on it and see if uh, brighter days are coming. But yeah. All right. For a little refresh of the Sphinx, uh, I don't know, he's blocking all the parking spots, so <laughs> got one open next to us. We're gonna have to pump. I don't want to pull between them because if he needs to leave, then I don't know. It's not a very frequented uh, truck stop, but still, let's go refresh and then pick up another one. So pretty up here today, guys. 44 degrees still, and the trees are falling, the leaves are falling. Definitely coming into winter. One of the most beautiful times of year up here in the Carolinas. And we have our second one off the truck. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And the craziest thing just happened, guys. I am putting the trailer in the air, getting it going. And I look over and I see a, a guy. And I kind of just see him for a second. I look back. And I look back at him. And he is one of my instructors from my CDL school from, what, five years ago? February 2018? That is crazy. So, 
he was right behind me. He was turned that way. He shook his hand and said hi. I think his name was Spearman. Uh, Mr. Spearman, Mr. Spellman, Mr. Spearman, something like that. Uh, but he was a very milit militant, uh, stern person, if you could say the least. He had some crazy tactics for teaching me how to drive one of these big trucks. But it's cool seeing him again. <clears throat> He's driving a company job for NW, some NW White or something, like that, NWW, whatever that is. But really cool seeing him. And, uh, he was one of the guys that told me, don't go buy a truck. Don't just go work for someone for 20 years. And unfortunately, or fortunately, I'm glad I didn't take that advice. And here we are. So we are a trash man now, but paying the bills until this market changes. It's an up and down market. Let's get to the on-ramp of 385. I'm going to factor this load. I should have done it back there, but I, I was talking to him. Got going. And um, Ed Truck tomorrow will be paying us within 10 minutes. That's awesome. So we got two in today. I am going to go get another one tonight, run three tomorrow if I can, go out the grace of God, and then two on Friday because uh, I'm going to be off early because my dad is coming into town. I want to hang out with him. Family first, right? But that's cool. Cool to see one of my old CDL uh, instructors that told me not to go buy a truck. <laughs> I said, well, gives me a little more freedom, but that's what I want. So, cool. God bless you, Mr. Spe Mr. Spearman, and uh, hope wish you the best of luck, man. And let's go factor this load and head back to the house load is factored and we are back on the road it's my little uh on ramp right there right in my paperwork i send it to the landstar broker and i send it to uh um, my factory company which it'll probably be in my bank account before i get to my exit which is about 14 miles from here <laughs> or sorry 20 miles about 19 miles anyways check out truck smarter guys they are a great tool loads are horrible right now um the spot markets in shambles but uh if you do need to factor some extra loads that's a great place to start so let's get back home with these kids go back up to get the trailer later on when the five o'clock traffic is over with and my kids are going to sleep i'll run there and grab one real quick come on down and be ready for tomorrow hopefully get three in tomorrow if everything goes smooth pray to god it does and thank him for his graces 62 degrees was supposed to be the high and that is what it is right now so sunshine finally came through a little bit but it's breezy out there it does feel chilly uh but we're just grateful to have work grateful to be doing our thing Okay, back up 385. Home sweet home. And we got a little buddy coming over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to go take the FLD over to our buddy at the shop and let him go ahead and um, see if he can figure out what's Stop. going on, man. What's up? What's happening? Where's your brother at? He's over there. Yeah, he's chilling. Nice. Just got done working, man. Oh, yeah. It's cold out there. There you go crazy because this thing back feeds air to my uh so you hear that air but the air's disconnected from the trailer but it back feeds see and that'll stop Can I ask my mom? yeah i don't know if you're allowed to come with me man there's no seat in this truck if i ask my mom can i <laughs> i think she has the right to give you that uh we'll see what she says we'll see okay. where my wife's at okay let's get this thing over to the shop and our buddies um, whenever it sits for a while and loses air pressure, the fifth wheel won't let me unlock it <laughs> until it goes back up. So I gotta wait for it to build air. And then we'll have our pumpkin is leaking a little bit from the bottom. So we're gonna have our pumpkin resealed right there. And then uh, check and see if these tires, get it up off the ground, see if these tires are uh, bouncing it off. It's something to do with the bearings in the, in the axles. If it's the tires, maybe it was just a drivetrain. Who knows? Well, let's get it over there to the shop. And he wanted me to ride him down the street to his house. Later! Put a scooter on the catwalk. There you go. All right, let's get over to the shop. What's up, dudes? What are you guys doing? Whoa. Hi, Mama. Hi. Did you miss my truck? Where is you? Oh, yeah. good. Okay. <laughs> you smell good. You smell good, too. you driving? No. I do kind of miss cement though. It was fun. Like jumping up there. They re graveled. They did a bunch of new big rocks though. That helps with the uh, rain when it gets muddy. Oh yeah. Playing on the boards. Well, on that note, guys, another successful day. I'm going to start putting this stuff away. So grateful that T-Dubs can pick me up and hopefully we can get that vibration figured out in the NFLD. Um, check the carrier bearing again, all the drivetrain, and then might just do new tires and see where that puts us. Thanks for getting me, beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Can I put some of this stuff away? Yep. Guess so. Hello. 
You went to the you went to the vet today. And mama said you did great and they all the people loved you. You too, Tiki, you too, Tiki. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh Tiki, Tiki, Tiki. But on that note, we have some new parts back there. If you want to see that, check out 3BB, which is Cash's video, and this one's video. This one's not coming out. Okay, I'll be getting it out. And Casey's video. And Casey's video. But we have our candy, don't we, Cash? You get plenty of candy? Yeah. Halloween. Oh. Well, God bless you. Check out 3BB. I'll open those boxes and maybe cut a filter in half. And we will see you. I'm